Hello everybody out there, this is Vagabond Zero. And this is a video response to Suton629. This is a, a response to his contest. So <clears throat> first up is a um I'm gonna show the um my favorite kit that I built in twenty twelve. So this is it. So this is the uh, clear version of Double O Riser. Well, right now it's just the uh, Double O plus the O Riser. I like to keep it this way to you know show off both of them. So as you can see right here, they're both the clear version, of course. <clears throat> I really don't have any cons about it. They, I pretty much only have one, which is the it didn't come with the um, G Insert Three. And from building it, um, I pretty much guessed that the, um, and of course the manual. That is, this, uh, this is the uh, mold based on the um, designer colors. And the designer colors um, kit doesn't come with the um, GN Sword 3. So yeah, that's the only thing I have a problem with. And, well I guess I also have another problem is that the um, v fins. Don't worry, I got the beef in right here. So anyways, like I was saying, the problem I have with the, um, is this beef in right here is that the, um, they should have made the, um, the, um, beef ins that are pointing upwards, ye uh, clear yellow. And it doesn't want to go in. Okay, there it goes. Anyways, they gave me pretty much stickers for it, which, which I did not like. They look kind of crummy and just, you know, messy, kind of, eh. Yeah, that's the um, thing that I didn't like also. But, other than that, um... Oh yeah, I think it, if I remember right, it didn't come with the um, beam effect parts for the, um... For the beam savers. So yeah. But, other than that, I pretty much liked it. So yeah, I did like this kit, and it made me want to um, kind of want more to try to get at one point the um, the um, high grade double O riser with the um, GM Sword Three plus the master grade as well. It just seemed pretty cool. Probably not gonna get the perfect grade because first of all it's too expensive, and, and second I heard it has some a good amount of problems with it. <clears throat> oh yeah, and of course, uh, shout out to um, Sutan629, subscribe to his channel, you know, um, just check out his videos and everything. Um, my next part of it is the, um, is the um, showing off of my, um, of the, um, Gundam, my um, already built Gundam collection. So first up is the I have some of them here on my desk because I'm running out of pretty much running out of shelf space. So right here to my right, so you can see right there, here's my custom painted um um uh, shell doll custom. I made it. I gave it the um, diva colors, the coolest I can get from from spray crayons. Um, second up right here is the um. You can see right here the um, I haven't shown this to anybody yet, so this is actually the first time you actually get to see it. This um, this is actually a a, um, a GM Sniper 2, which is um, colored in um, World War II um, sniper colors. That's how I painted it up, as you can see from the rifle. I meant I've been meaning to take pictures of it and show it off, but I haven't. I, haven't got, uh, I got kind of lazy about it. and haven't gotten around to it. So yeah. Got that guy, plus back behind him is the um, no great um, blast impulse gun, except for this, uh, his pack is um, off because actually I made it for, um, for part of a project. So yeah, let's do right there. And next up is um, over here, as you can see right here, the, um, the um, what do you call it, HFX high grade. That's all. Um, that's how I plan to oppose him when, once I have um, better space for him. And of course right here the um, Dark Hound. Sorry about the um, bit of a mess right here. 
Um, and so I'll have like a pose him with the um, hook out and everything. Uh, of him watching this um, hook and everything. Or here's the um, high grade um, 1100 um, Air Master burst. And of course, or here's the uh, Master Grade uh, Ball Verka with its uh, clear armor on it and everything. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And next up, I'm going to show you the um, shelves or some of the space I have um, for my Gundam kits. So, first up right here is the um, no grade red frame. And of course, over here, I have the um, high grade, not the high grade you see, but this still hasn't come out, but the high grade, um, Easy 8. I don't know if I can make it out right there, but I actually made some weathering on it. Over here I have the uh, Garazulu. See right there, he's pointing his car out. He actually has his eye kind of pointed to the side. Over here we have the um, Nemo Unicorn version. And over here we have the Mirasai Unicorn version as well. That was pretty cool, kids. I wish it actually came with the. Um, a different um, left hand to so I can hold that well. Or here's one of my favorite kits, the uh, Resil Commander. It's actually, my I think my second, yeah, my second kit that I ever built. Pretty fun. Or here we have the um, Zaku One Sniper, the Yonin Kurtz one, the one from um, Uni from the Unicorn anime. And over here. We have the um, the uh, Tritium High Grade. Of course, I added a beam effect to his um, rifle. Excuse me, right there. I took just the um, beam saber effect part from one of the kits. And over here is one of my favorite kits as well. The um, 160 No Grade um, Wing Zero. I painted the um, yellow parts into gold. And over here we have the, um, the double kit um, limited version of the um, GM Kai and the um, ball. This was this was based on the 0083 ones. If you saw the anime, you can see them when um, they kind of pop out for maybe like a second or two on one scene. And over here we have the um, high grade advanced hazel. It's all about it being dusty and everything. And over here we have the double X, which I made in 2011 for a contest. Didn't win, but hey, I felt like that, like um, building it and everything. It's the most work. It's the first time I did the most work in the kit. And next up is the um, G Falcon. Again, sorry about the it being dusty. And over here we have the uh, SD wing, SD scythe. It's the heavy yards which I painted. I really like how it came out. And one of my old old kits from ten to like eleven years ago, twelve years ago, which is the um, no grade um, go, uh, shining Gundam. And of course, back here you can see the big O. I got that uh, about twelve years ago. Never built it until now. Now up here, this is actually the top of my entertainment center. This is actually the um, SD um, GPO 3D. Really like how it came out and everything. I actually um, won this kit from um, what's the online game called? Um, SDGO or Gundam Fighter Online Capsule Fighter. I won in one of their monthly giveaways. So yeah, that was pretty cool. It was also a group build for one of my. One of the groups I'm on in, uh, in. Or here's one of the the Gundam that got me back into Gunpla, which is the Real Good RX-78. At the time, I wanted to get the Strike Gundam. It was about to come out, but I couldn't. I was too eager and couldn't wait, so I got this guy. Pretty happy that I did. And next to it is actually 
one of my favorite kits. The Senenju uh, Spuckle Clear Red version. And of course, as you can see, I also got the uh, clear, uh, the same clear red um, action base for it. So yeah. So next up, I'm going to show you my um, backlog, which is big. So you know, hold on for a quick minute there. So yeah, this is my um. What do you call my um, backlog um, collection, which is pretty huge. I mean, so let's just first start out here. You can see right here, there's the um, V2 Condom 160. It's a pretty old kit. I think it came out in the um, early 90s. I got that last year in the, uh, on eBay. So, yeah. Anyways, here's more of my backlog. You can see some SD kits right there. There's the uh, Brian Line Custom that I bought last month. Also this one. Which is the um, uh, No Gray 1100 on um, Blue Frame Second L. This is actually the um, clear color version you can see right there. There's the Star Jigen that I got also last month. There's the um, clear version of um, Banshee Gundam in its destroy mode. <clears throat> So, over here, as so you can see right here, this is actually an add-on kit that I got off of eBay that I found a couple months, uh, I think pretty much last year. Um, this is actually a Sword Calamity add-on kit. It also comes with a DVD. You can find the um, DVD um, video on YouTube. And of course, here's the M1 Astray. Here's a Gyarados. This is actually the full frontal version. There's actually a limited kit that came out. Uh, I forgot, like, uh, about probably five months ago, six months, uh, six months ago. So, yeah. And, of course, there's the Master Grade, um, uh, God Gundam with its, um, it actually comes with the, um, clear parts. And here's the SD Unicorn Gundam. Here's a, um, I would say probably it's a no grade, but somewhere it's like a 13, a no grade, a high grade S Gundam Booster Unit. And of course, there's a green uh, green frame uh, Gundam, the high grade one one forty four. Here's the high grade you see um, unicorn Gundam. It's just drawn with with the um, display base, the head display uh, head display base. And of course, the other one in its um, unicorn mode or regular mode, with of course the head display base. Over here we have the um, no I mean not the no grade. I mean the high grade one one hundred um. Gonna Leopard Destroy. Still been meaning to build that since forever. And of course, there's the um, injection machine. This is actually a model kit that's based on the um, injection machine that, that makes the um, Gunpla. So it says 160 scale, but from what I've seen, it's um, it's, it's um, not gonna be next. Uh, it's not gonna be huge. You could probably put it next to a, um, I think probably like a 1-200 scale, um, uh, Gundam figure. Anyways, here's the, um, a Hagrid UC another, uh, another one. This is actually the G-Savior, the space mode. I got this about like a year ago, I think. Yeah. I got this off, um, on Raw for all this stuff. You can't find these anymore. They've been sold out a long time ago. And they got a small a small batch, and I got one before they sold out. And of course, there's uh, from Gundam F91, the the bad guy from from that uh, from the uh, movie. And of course, there's a Hiker you see um, Bandit Hobby Shop kit. It's the um, it's a one four four scale. It's the um, the ball from F uh, from the eighth MS team, and the ball from MS El Goog. You know, shark mouth, uh, shark mouth um, ball, and of course, here's the uh, V type um, F90 Gundam, and another button uh, by now Hobby Shop kit, a um, GM2 in desert colors. Uh, same thing right here, except this is a GM3 in desert colors. Here's a Gundam. Here's a Gundam uh, grape, grape. 
Like, I don't know how you pronounce it, but yeah, this is uh, the high grade one, the um, G uh, G unit kit. And of course, there's the um, GM Sniper 2 White Dingo version. Pretty happy I got that, and I got that at a great deal, and I paid for like $33 for it. And of course, there's a, a um, the Kosatria, the clear version. Oh, the clear pearl version, that's what it says. I'm actually building that right now, but I put that on top. And right here we have the uh, no grade 1144 double, uh, double X. A no grade, um, uh, what is it, Zaku, uh, Zaku Slash? Or Slash Zaku, whatever it's called. And of course, here's the uh, Mercury Kit 1144. Here's the um, Verasago, of course, 144. Gundam Airmaster, the high grade 1100. Gundam Leopard, high grade 1100. Uh, got them H1 normal high grade, high grade MGXs, another one high grade G balancer, high grade GXs jackets, and of course the um, got them H2 double bullet. And over here we have the um, high grade beginning Gundam, the unicorn Gundam, and it's uh, the story more green frame version. Which I just got um, uh, last month. Anyway, yeah, they just announced they're gonna take out a high grade um, full armor um, unicorn, but the unicorn's gonna be in its uh, unicorn mode. So probably I'm gonna buy that and slap on the uh, the piece on uh, the part of the weapons on this guy. Anyways, here's the H3 Orbital, the high grade Blaze Aqua Phantom. I bought this one to so I can take the. Um, Docker from this and combine it with these parts to make um, the a uh, high grade slash Zaku. Anyways, here's the uh, gun of this side hell from the um, t uh, from the ser uh, from the TV series, high grade one hundred of course. Um, the um, what's it called the S Estron one hundred forty four from Gun of Mix. The again the leopard destroy except this is the one hundred forty four. Here's the vertical leopard in the one forty four. Here's the SD uh, red frame, and for people who do not know, it doesn't not come with a katana. So yeah, you're gonna, probably gonna have to find one somewhere. And here's the Air Master, the 144. Here's some SDs, Epion Master, and plus here's the um, which I got last uh, last month. Yeah, the Zeta uh, Gun uh, Gundam head display base. And of course, I still have the um, H2 Artemis um, add-on kit, and also have the H1 Razor. And here's the high grade 100 uh, Gun Mix Divider, the clear version um, Delta Gundam, clear version Jesta Gundam, and here's the um, uh, Secret Santa gift that I got from from somebody. Is the um, crossbone Gundam, and right here, last but not least, is the Justice Gundam. I I also start uh, building this, but I put this in here just you know, just in case. So yeah, that's pretty much all of the kits. I mean, yeah, that's a lot. That's a huge backlog, and I and I still have more than gonna come in in the next few months. So yeah.